This is the first video in order to help me to understand how to use Moom. This is, by the way, the settings window for Moom. And I'm in the general settings. I selected run Moom as a menu bar. That means that Moom shows up right here in this corner where my mouse is. Let me close this. I don't want it even showing up here. I don't know why it won't go away. Let me see what happens. Open, options, remove from dock, open at login. I guess that's Moom itself. It's, you know what? Let me quit Moom and start it all over again. Moom, okay, let's do Moom quit. All right, now why is it still down here, okay? How about this? Remove from dock, quit over here. Okay, now let me restart Moom. Moom, about Moom. I guess Moom is on. If it's letting me do this. Okay, so I got rid of it from down there. All right, the next thing we're going to do here is figure out how to use Moom with the mouse. In other words, in mouse mode. There's also a keyboard mode. But until I master the mouse mode, I'm not gonna mess with the keyboard mode. First thing I want, I need to do is enable the new mouse feature. So I go to preferences for Moom and under mouse, enable move and grid. And he has it 6-4 minus going to be better at 8.4 because I have a wider screen. So I took care of that. Now I'm going to try this out. In order to try this out, I'm going to use the dictionary just like they did in the tutorial. First thing, mouse over the green button. I'm going to moom it, and that's spelled M-O-O-M, -O -O to the lower right corner. Okay? So I go here. And I go like this. Okay, and then I let go. So it moved over to the lower right corner. Now, there are pre-built window configurations at the top. And this is what I'm talking about. See, I put the mouse over here. See these things at the top? What I did before was use this down here but I'm gonna use those ones up there. So there are pre-configured window configurations at the top when I hover over the green button. And it says you must hold down the Alt key. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key when selecting these. So let me select, let's say this one. Now let me try clicking one without the Alt. Well, it still did the same thing. I don't know why they said click the Alt. All right. Oh, okay, so clicking the Alt gives me an alternative set. See how they change here when I press the Alt? Okay, so that's a different set. Okay, so let me move it to the upper left corner like this. Okay, now there's a particular one of these, okay? Now I'm going to hit Alt. You see here where it says Center? Okay, let's do Center. Notice how it's kind of close to the top of the screen because this is the Max Center. And I guess the Max Center makes room for when these icons, when the menu bar is at the bottom. Now let me move this back here. Okay. This time I want to move it to the true center of the screen. Okay, so I hover here, hit the Alt. Now, before I hit, hit this button right here, I'm also going to, okay, actually, I'll, I'll have the Shift and then Alt, and now I hit Center. And now it gives me the true center of the screen. Okay, that's better.